This is Arif Naqvi, the founder of Abraj Capital. Abraj, the biggest private equity firm, is going into liquidation after a set of controversial statements and decisions against it. The company in early 2018 had more than $13.6 billion of assets under management with interests in various sectors including consumer goods, healthcare, financial services, education, materials and logistics. This year in Feb, four big investors appointed independent investigators to find out more on where the money was disappearing in the healthcare fund. Please do take a moment to subscribe our YouTube channel as this encourages me to make more videos for you. The Abraj Group was founded in 2002 by a Pakistani businessman, Arif Naqvi, who is an investor operating in the emerging markets of Asia, Africa, Latin America, Middle East and Turkey. It is a Dubai-based firm and is or was the biggest in Middle East. But when four investigators began to raise questions, the Abraj Group chose to hide important information. High-profile investors, including the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, began to ask questions. They were part of Abraj's $1 billion healthcare fund and requested an audit to know where all their money was disappearing. The investors recruited forensic accountants to find out what went wrong with the money in the healthcare fund and the final verdict was against Abraj. According to a report by Bloomberg, as of March, Abraj began to slash jobs and downsize its business for a sustainable growth. Abraj started repaying its secured investors after an arrest warrant was issued against Arif Naqvi in Sharjah by a Middle Eastern businessman Hamid Jaffa over a bounce check worth $48 million. Abraj agreed to sell its Latin American, Sub-Saharan Africa, North Africa and Turkey funds management business to US management firm Colony Capital as they are unable to come up with the debt amount, which is roughly $1 billion since deals have dried up and fundraising has ceased. The court in Sharjah has dismissed the charges against Arif Naqvi, founder of Abraj, as Hamid Jaffer dropped the case because the two parties settled the matter out of court. A lot of companies are exposed to this private equity firm. To name a few, it involves Emirates NBD, Air Arabia, First Abu Dhabi Bank and Mashrik Bank. These among many others are at a risk of losing a massive amount of money if the situation of Abraj doesn't sort out quick. What the future holds for the company and its people is still debatable, but if they do survive, it is certain that investors and creditors will want more transparent policies in place. This is perhaps also the right time to have more rules governing such as capital firms as Dubai grows to become one of the leading financial hubs in the region and globally.